Hello, nerds to go franchisees. Catherine Monson here again. Since you've been involved with Fast Signs and our holding company propelled brands since September, you've heard me say a time or two that I collect positive quotes. Another thing I do is I go read positive websites and one that I just love is success.com. And I recently read an article on success.com titled, five things you can do in 20 minutes to improve your mindset. You've heard me talk a lot about the importance of developing positive mental attitude, the importance of developing a mindset. And I really think it's something we do. It's a choice, it's discipline, it's making a decision that we wanna have that kind of mindset because human nature is very easily just to spiral down into negative. So what is the biggest difference between those who succeed or succeed a lot and those who succeed less? Very often, in fact, I'm gonna say most of the time, it comes down to their mindset. It's a small thing that makes a big difference. And I'm convinced that a positive mindset is the primary catalyst driving your feelings of self-worth, competence, and confidence. Mindset is nothing more than a set of attitudes. And world-renowned Stanford psychologist, Carol Dweck, who discovered after years of research, found that dedication, hard work, and resilience are more important to long-term success than brains or talent. And part of developing that mindset is developing that ability to have resilience, right? Have that ability to continue at it, that perseverance, that's all part of that positive mindset. When we change our mindset to one of growth, to one of positivity, to one of resilience, we will absolutely change the course of our lives. We can do these simple things that I'm gonna talk about five of them every day, quickly and easily to improve our mindset. And we can do it all in 20 minutes. Exercise or practice number one, just breathe for five minutes just breathe. Studies show that just a few minutes a day of quiet and breathing and clearing our mind will allow us to get in a better mindset, will allow us to relax, and will really open up our creative and our innovative thinking. How do you do it? You can sit or you can stand. Some people lay down. I always fall asleep when I try this laying down, but sit or stand in a quiet spot, have your feet on the floor, hands by your side or on your knees, and then just quiet your mind. Picture a place that is your happy place. For me, it's the ocean, it's being at a beach, it's smelling the salt air, it's listening to the sound of the surf, right? And then just breathe consciously and deeply. I suggest a count of five slowly coming in, holding for a couple seconds, and back out for a count of five. If your thoughts start to intrude, like I got a project that's due today or I've got to pay that bill so it's not late, that's okay. Notice the thought and then go back to that picture for me, that beautiful beach. You do not have to be a meditation expert at all. This is just five minutes of quiet, of resting your mind and deeply breathing to center yourself, to clear your mind and come up with a better solution with a better mindset or a better step to whatever challenge you're facing. That is number one, five minutes. The next item, number two, check your thoughts. This is about five minutes as well. Sometimes I get up in the morning and I just wake up cranky. I don't know what it is. Maybe I didn't sleep well. Maybe it's a rainy day. Maybe because I'm stressed out about something. What I need to do right then is stop myself and rather than say, this is gonna be a bad day, check my mind, check my thoughts, and determine I'm gonna make it a good day. So our thoughts are very, very powerful. Our thoughts create feelings. Our feelings lead to actions. Our feelings lead to behaviors that determine whether our day goes well or not. Learning that we can choose our thoughts is one of the most powerful things we can do to take charge of our lives. It is one of the most powerful things I've learned to do to make my life a better life. So taking five minutes 
to just make sure your thoughts are positive is a great way to start the day with the right mindset. Number three, write your gratitude list. Write this in just three minutes. Set a timer for three minutes and write down five things you're grateful for that day. According to research by UC Davis psychologist Robert Emmons, keeping a gratitude journal contributes to a positive life attitude, a positive mindset, and makes us feel better, allows us to sleep better, and even have stronger immune systems, which all of us need today. So then try for a different list each day. You're not gonna write the same five things every day because what you're gonna happen is your list of things you're grateful for is going to grow and grow and grow. And you'll be amazed doing this three minutes every morning, how it is gonna help your mindset. Number four, set your intention for the day. This could be up to five minutes. Before you leave the house in the morning or before you walk from your bedroom to the kitchen, if that's where you're working remotely, before you start the day of work, set an intention of how you want the day to end. Visualize how you feel at the end of the day of really getting things done, of being successful, of being persuasive, of being really productive. How do you want the actions you accomplish today to make you feel at the end of the day? How do you want to feel about your work? How do you want to feel about your relationships? How do you want to feel about anything important that you're working on? How do you want to feel after a great day? It doesn't have to be major. What is the one thing you can do that at the end of the day will make you feel happier? Just take a couple minutes for that. And number five, after you've done the first four, turn off the noise. Find something else to listen to rather than the news on your drive to work. Or if you typically do business calls on your drive to work, instead of doing that, listen to some calming music or just notice how beautiful the day is outside, whatever it is. Or as you're stopped at stoplights, don't be checking social media. Turn off the noise for a few minutes as you get your day started and focus on happiness. So that could be listening to your favorite music. It'd be a lecture that you've recorded or a podcast you've wanted to listen to or just observing the beautiful sunshine of the day. There is always going to be plenty of time to listen to the news later in the day. Try this for a week. Try it for five days in a row. And I guarantee you're gonna find yourself arriving at work, whether that's at your office or whether it's the kitchen where you're working remotely, you're gonna arrive at work more relaxed and with a positive mindset. And best of all, you're gonna discover you haven't missed a thing. That's it, just 20 minutes, and you're well on your way to a more positive mindset. Practice this first for a week, then a second week, then a third week, and you're gonna see an amazing difference in your productivity and your attitude. And you're gonna to wanna to continue the practice ongoing because it's a great way to improve your mindset in just 20 minutes every morning. Thank you.